Hiya, and today I'm going to be talking about a subject that really, really bugs me. Um, and it's been something that's been really getting to me for a while and it's very, very close to my heart. And basically I want to talk about writers. And um, being one myself, I'm kind of an expert on the subject. So, yeah. Basically I want to talk about how writers are just people too. And we're normal and we're the same as everybody else, despite our slight quirks. Most people, when I first meet them, react the same way. So, for instance, they'll be like, oh, what do you do? You know, we're having a normal conversation. And then I'm like, oh, I'm a writer, or I blog, or I'm an editor for this magazine, or I do this, I've got some books, blah, blah, blah. And then they just look at me like I'm drooling or speaking gibberish or something. They just suddenly assume I'm going to be a certain way, that I'm going to be this writer that only ever talks about themselves or whatever. Or then they ask that question like, oh, have you written anything I might have heard of? And I'm like, well, no, because I'm not even 20 yet. Okay, I have written five books and they are all available to buy, just saying. But I'm no one. I'm an indie author and... I'm a student and I'm a family member and I'm a person, I work, I, you know, I'm normal, I'm a normal 19 year old, bar the fact that I write books, and then they just look really disappointed when I'm not famous, but besides that, when I meet strangers they assume that I'm then going to be a certain way, so for instance that I'm geeky or that I'm constantly correcting people's grammar, genuinely I don't understand grammar. I, I follow the rules, but I don't know what they are, which is kind of hard to do. But, you know, they also assume that I've got no fashion taste, and bar this jumper, I have pretty good fashion taste, you know. I'm constantly complimented on outfits that I put together. I blog about fashion half the time. It's something that I like, you know, it's something that's interesting. It's something that I'm really bad at, but I try anyway. But, um, also, people assume that I'm, well, that writers, um, that we stay up until the early hours of the morning sitting in the dark trying to write that one amazing novel and I'm not trying to write one novel I've got five, I've got at least seven more in the works right now um, and I've got all these other projects, you know I, I'm not just devoted to writing one great hit and then I'm going to give up being a writer I am a writer, that's what I do you know, it's my career choice like people choose to be lawyers or dentists or doctors or vets or teachers, you know you aspire to be that and then you do everything you can to be that and that's what I'm trying to do but a teacher isn't just a teacher it's like when you're in primary school everyone thought the teachers lived at school but they don't, they have families and lives and children's and social life and children's um, they have lives and their own miniature goals away from that and you know they do stupid things like me, I'm a normal person, I do stupid things I talk too fast, I eat junk food, I watch stupid movies, um, I text a lot, I go shopping far too often, I am rubbish paying the bills, I'm poor, uh, I'm a student uh, and I am addicted to social media. Seriously, I was film try well, trying to write the script for this uh, and my notes and practicing and stuff and I tweeted the entire thing. Seriously, you can just look at my Twitter, at MelissaHolden94. I was just kind of really nervous, I don't know what to do, blah blah blah, any got any tips, like, I was just ranting like I am now, but my point is, I'm a normal person, I'm like everybody else, I do stupid things, and I'm just, I'm a person, I just, and I do normal things like everybody else, writers aren't aliens, we are normal people, so the point is, uh, that writers are people too. And, funnily enough, I wrote a book on the subject. Insert random book plug here. Um, I'll put the link to it down below. But It's only short. It's an e-book. It's like 77p uh, in the UK. But it's available across all domains. So yay! Uh, yeah, the link will be down below. Or you can just type into Amazon, Writers Are People Too by Melissa Holden. And then you'll be able to see all my other stuff too. Uh, book plug over. Um, yeah, I think that's it for this video. I'm kind of nervous, so it's probably really bad, and I'm sorry for that. 
and I'm probably not looking at the camera because it's really hard to focus because there's loads of DVDs there and pictures and stuff. It's like a whole big wall of things. I might show you. But um, please let me know what you thought of this video. You know, comment, like, subscribe, whatever the deal is. That's all down below in the magical world of YouTube. Um, let me know what you thought. You know, if you're a normal, normal person or if you're a writer as well. Uh, do people treat you differently for being a writer or if you're not a writer what do you think the stereotypes of being a writer are did you think there were any um let me know what you think and do you like this style of video because i've done some cooking ones before but i don't know if they uploaded and i'm kind of chatting normally but on here i get a bit slow um so just let me know what you thought because i've got a couple of other vid videos that i'd really like to work on um, but I won't, I don't know if I'll do them if nobody liked this one. Uh, I think that's it. I'm really sorry I'm nervous. Basically, writers are people too. Don't treat them any differently. Um, have a great day, night, afternoon, whatever, whatever time zone you're in, whatever time I get this video uploaded. Uh, and have a great day and be happy. Bye!